This is a drill. This is a drill press. This is a really big drill press. Now the drill press I have is a baby drill press, so it's just a desktop model. They have floor standing models and those are bigger, they just handle bigger bits and that kind of stuff. A drill press basically just holds the drill for you. You can, you can uh, there's a lever that you pull and it rolls it down like that. It just helps you drill straighter holes. The question came up. Hi, welcome to Kenneth Spader Christmas. I got a request to do a video on how I do my sequencing, uh, programming the lights. This is a slight departure from my normal videos because it involves more of the creative side of the hobby. So all of this is personal preference stuff. You may agree with me, you may disagree, either way that's okay. I want to cover more of the big picture or philosophy behind overall show design because it affects everything that you'll do. It's just some things that I think about when I'm planning my show and maybe that'll help you if you're kind of overwhelmed by all the technology. First off, there's a relatively small number of people that are doing light shows the way we do, so the general public is going to love whatever you do because it's unique. Don't be afraid to experiment with patterns or music. The more you do it, the more you can play with it, the more you can tailor it to your own personal tastes. I will usually have one song, usually it's a medley, I'll, I'll edit a bunch of different songs together, um, that I pour all of my current sequencing talent into. I call it my Oompa Loompa song, because it's usually pretty crazy. Now, this can take several months to sequence, uh, it's usually a very dynamic piece of music, but it really showcases all the lights. Now, I may not go down to pixel level changes in the software, but the patterns can change every beat or measure. Now, if you only have one song and it's your Oompa Loompa song, your lights are just constantly going crazy. And that's where your neighbors can start getting a little annoyed with you. Plus, if you have traffic that's just blocking the road, they, they may just be sitting there in a trance and never leave. So have your Oompa Loompa song, but also have some other low intensity songs so that it'll clear out the traffic and it'll just give your guests a rest. Some of my fillers consist of just dragging a butterfly effect under the whole house model for the whole song. It takes a couple of minutes to create that sequence. It still looks cool, but it brings everything down. Then you can crank it up again with the Oompa Loompa song. This year, my Oompa Loompa song is custom music that I created on my iPad with GarageBand. Now, last year, I couldn't upload my medley to YouTube because of the music that it had in it. That ticked me off a little bit because I had spent so much time sequencing. So similar to driving down the highway and just jerking the steering wheel to avoid something in the road instead of just kind of, you know, veering around it very easily and smoothly, I created my own music. Now, it's awful, but it has a beat and I've test uploaded it to YouTube, so we're not going to have any problem this year. Now, since then, I've found additional music that I can upload that, that aren't going to be filler, so I'll put those up too. So what kind of music should you use? Well, it's really personal preference. But if you play hip hop or funk, you may end up with people with stereo systems in their cars that are more powerful than the systems that you have in your house. Neighbors might get a little upset with you. If you play kid songs or pop songs, it's usually not a problem. If your musical tastes lie outside the mainstream, that's okay, but just understand it may not relate well to the general public. I think there's really two different philosophies on lighting design. Either all lights on or only interesting parts on. Now, my personal philosophy is all lights on because if you're going to spend hundreds or thousands of dollars for these lights, why keep them off? I mean, unless it's part of the pattern you're showing. I have heard the argument that by only lighting up parts of your display, you can actually force the viewer to look at exactly what you want them to look at. Now granted, that's probably negatively paraphrasing it, and it may be what professional lighting designers have learned or are being taught. Now I tend to think that's a mistake, and here's why. 
if somebody's driving by your house and they see a bush flashing, they might sarcastically think, ah, awesome job on the display. Also, I think you can direct attention a little bit more subtly, even with all the lights lit up. So if you have a string of lights that's static, and you have another string that's animating, where are people going to look? At the animation! If somebody's driving by and they see your entire yard lit up, they might think, oh, wow, that's pretty cool. And then they, under they see the animation, and they, oh, hey, this is, this is really nice. And then they understand that you do have music with it, and they turn the music on, wow, this is really cool. So you might miss that if all you have is a single bush flashing. The real test is, does your display still look good without music? And my first year, I didn't have any music with my display, so that's probably why I'm in the all lights on camp. Again, personal preference, do what you want to do. Now, I give you permission to break that rule because I'm actually probably going to break that rule myself this year. But generally speaking, all lights on. What time should you run your show? Well, again, that depends on you. Here it gets dark around 5.30, so I'm going to have my Oompa Loompa song in a playlist, run that for a couple of hours, and then switch to a more mellow playlist for the next two or three hours. Um, should you run it at 5 o'clock in the morning? I don't know. Get up early one morning and see how much traffic you get. Uh, Keith in Australia says that he turns his lights off early on school nights for the kids, so the kids that are supposed to be in bed want to go to bed, and then runs a little bit later on Friday and Saturday nights. You may also want to have a special you know, playlist just for Christmas Eve. With the software we have now, it's very easy to do that. Should you run your lights during the day? I don't, but you may, you know, if you live in an area where there's only a couple of hours of daylight, maybe so. So how do I sequence a song? Well, um, I'll listen to it a bunch of times first, get very familiar with the music. Then I may pick out certain pieces of the music that are either have special significance or they, I can just think of a particular pattern that I want to use for a piece of music. And I'll actually start there, start with the pieces that are very unique to the music. I'll also listen to the song with headphones. Because headphones allow you to pick out things in a song that you don't normally hear with computer speakers. Little nuances that you don't normally hear. And as you're listening to the music, how does it make you feel? Does it make you want to move around in certain ways? That can help you design the show. So feel the music, let it be your guide. I'm also working on a version of Joy to the World. It is a funk version. Uh, has a special piece about seven or eight times through the song, and the only piece that I have so far is the talking snowman. I got the joy. So now I just have to fill in the rest of the song. X Lights is my sequencing software of choice. It's open source, it's uh, written in C, and it's compiled for Windows, Mac, and Linux. I've got a Mac, and I follow the changes on GitHub. Uh, there are a ton of videos out there on how to use it. Uh, I really like the design concept and the developers uh, use it in their own shows. It's free, but if you like it, download it. Use the help menu option to donate. These guys are doing an excellent job and they're doing it in their spare time, so please support them. If you have any questions, leave them below and I'll get to them. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. And all the dogs run. And we have a jet flying over. There's so many cars going back.